All right, I thought I would give you a GTI update of what's happening. Let me turn off the radio. Um, I just got off the phone with talking to Ivan at Access Motoring. He's the my mechanic for all my upgrades, and he is officially APR dealer. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I just ordered a cam follower. And the reason I ordered a cam follower is, if you're not familiar with Volkswagen FSI Turbo, it has an issue with the cam follower going, getting worn. It's basically just a part that wears, especially if you, you know, like to drive uh, spiritedly. So that's something you always got to look at and replace. And since, um, I think you could do it like every 30,000 miles probably. I'm not sure. You could check it every 15. But it's, it's a maintenance issue. And there's an, another thing I'm going to tell you about as well that's also a maintenance issue. It's the coil pack. Uh, mine hasn't gone bad yet, but I had a little issue the other day while starting the car. I turned it on and it sounded out of balance. It went like, and I went like, oh my gosh, like it was misfiring. And uh, the check engine light started blinking. As soon as I saw that, I turned everything off. And uh, the bus is very computerized and sometimes you turn it off the computer resets and it like fixes itself you know even just temporarily it'll like reset and just, that's how computers are you reboot them and it, everything's okay so that was my theory anyway as soon as I saw that check engine I blink I turned it off my heart sank I was like oh man but you know I'm not worried because Volkswagen and Audi it's a very common thing for the coil packs to go it's nothing bad it's just it's, it's things don't last forever uh, I'm over 70,000 miles now and guess what? The coils cost 25 bucks each. Cheap. So I actually ordered a brand new uh, coil pack from ECS Tuning. I found out from Ivan that the ones I ordered for the Audi R8. So that ain't bad. So I got the red ones. Because it said, all I read was it said uh, genuine Volkswagen Audi. That's what you want. So I bought the genuine Volkswagen and Audi coils for the coil pack. And I got them in red. Because there was an option. There was a red one and a black one. The ones I got in red are for the Audi R8. So I'm in good company with that. So I got that on the way coming. I got the cam follower coming. Because what's going to happen is we're going to take off the old fuel pump, which is perfectly running fine, and replace the cam follower. Since we're getting in there anyway, you may as well put a new cam follower on there. If my other cam follower is not bad, I'll just keep that with the old fuel pump. So we'll have like a little spare if something ever happens. I'm buying the brand new Audi FSI fuel pump from APR. They're going to send it. It's all going to be... Uh, built with the high pressure uh, parts in it that make it work uh, and flow like at 1900 PSI. So uh, I will get that hopefully within a week and maybe next week I might be able to do it. So uh, then I'll get reflashed with uh, new, new software and I will gain 10 to 15 horsepower. I think it's for sure 10. I have saw some, that, uh, some, seem, some seem to say it's 15. But I know for a fact it'll be 10, 10 horsepower more. So I'll be, uh, instead of 270 horsepower, I'll be 280 horsepower. By the way, I'm at uh, Bush Gardens today. You can see the uh, Mon 2 over there going up. And you can also see the Cheetah Hunt, which is right there. It's the newest roller coaster. There it goes. And then we're lucky because all three of them are going by. You can see in the distance the red and blue one. That's called the Shikra. See that 90 degree drop? That's pretty awesome. You get to see what they do too. They uh, they took you they take you around the top there real gently, and if you're sitting in the front seats, you get the best effect. Cause watch what they do. Most roller coasters just let you drop off the end, but the Shikra will come to the very end, and it will halt. Okay. You'll see it. It comes down. See, it looks like it's gonna go, but watch, it'll stop them. Watch, and it just lets you hang there. Ah! It torments you, and then. It'll go. I don't know how that came out because I had it on the reverse camera. But that's what I'm doing. And like I said, if you have a Volkswagen or Audi, keep in mind about the coil pack because the coil pack is very cheap and uh, it's easy to replace. And I don't think even Volkswagen would charge that much. But you can go to ECS Tuning and buy the parts. They have all the same parts you'd get. You'd get them probably cheaper with uh, ECS Tuning. Just make sure you buy the Volkswagen and Audi ones. You don't want to get aftermarket stuff for your car. You want to get OEM parts like that. 
you know, unless you know of a company that makes it better than Volkswagen and Audi, which stuff like that, the coil pack, I wouldn't mess with. That's the ignition system that's right with your engine. You want the authentic parts that come with the car. You know, an exhaust, you can do what you want. I actually went with an uh, Audi exhaust, too, because of Volkswagen Audi. Because the exhaust I got is the, is the genuine sport-tuned exhaust for the GTI Mark V. It was made exactly for my vehicle. It was bent, all the little bends in it. The big uh, um, resonator that I have, that's to tune the sound of the exhaust so it sounds just powerful and awesome, not like cheap. And it, it takes the sound of the engine and makes it sound better. So mine was made by Volkswagen. I actually recommend that exhaust if you've never had it. It's usually like 1700 bucks or something crazy like that. Or I think sometimes even 1200 I got it for like 799 on ECS Tuning. But I don't see it anymore. It's probably a rare thing. But maybe they'll get them again one day. But I am going to make a video. I'm going to do a GTI exhaust challenge. And I'm going to uh, make a video of my exhaust sound. I'm going to try to think of how to film it and get the proper sound so you can really appreciate what it does. So that's what's happening. Um, cam follower has been bought. A coil pack has been ba bought. I feel like your car, I've always been like this since I was little. I had a Volkswagen Campmobile in the old days. That was actually the first car I ever owned. It was a Volkswagen Campmobile, 1972. It wasn't fast, but it had a lot of character. And uh, my vehicles always give me little warnings. And I think if you really think about it, your car will too. Your car normally doesn't just break. It'll like say, e -e 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 -e. it'll do something, a little noise will happen. you got to be really respectful and mindful of your vehicle and listen to what it's trying to tell you and that other day when I turned it on and it kind of was rough for a second and the check engine light came on and I turned it off it's never done it since then I turned it back on it's smooth as anything the check engine light was away everything's working great but I know in my heart coil pack so that, that's what your car's trying to tell you it's, it's showing little warning signs so you can uh, take care of your car if you don't take care of things things break down if you don't treat your car right it won't treat you right so you got to take care of your, your car. And I'm just really looking forward to this high pressure fuel pump. And that will be the highest I can go with my current turbo. Uh, the only way I could become stage 3 is I'd have to get a really big turbo. And you'd have to get all kinds of piping and all that, the manifolds and all that. And that costs like three grand. You know, seriously. It might be less than that since I'm already getting the high pressure fuel pump. But I will be APR stage 2 plus. Because I'll be the highest I can be without becoming stage 3. With the FSI high pressure fuel pump. And just think about it. 1900 PSI. That's what the fuel pump's going to create. 1900! I was told that if you don't uh, depressurize the uh, Volkswagen fuel pump, it'll pop your eye out. If you just like took the hose off and didn't know what you were doing and it was all under pressure and it could actually go into your arm like if it went into your arm if the if the fuel would cut right through your arm because of the, the pressure coming out of that that's just the stock one. You imagine this new one. But it'll go if the fuel got into your bloodstream you would die within 60 seconds. Alright. I don't know if you've ever seen my ride. This is a 2013 model FanDuel. And there's a spiral staircase, which is new. Seat belts and all the seats. It's new. The coolest thing, LED lighting. Much better. Much, much better. All right. I got to go, Mike.